Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sessa here, bringing us another TikTok video. I went on TikTok, found some really cool graphic effects for like, just anything really. Text effects, graphical effects, things that I didn't know, techniques, all that good stuff. I want to share them with you guys. Let's learn together. Let's do it. All right, so let's go ahead and check out our first TikTok by Maria. How to make text something like this, which is actually pretty sick, actually. I can see myself using it for, like, subtext, like, streetwear, just, like, just dope grunge kind of effects to put on top of stuff. So let's just see how she actually does it, though. Uh, so convert to sort object. Okay, simple enough. Now, select zones with a blur. With a, Wait, wait, what? Wait, the English, holy... Pff. Uh, there's a comma somewhere there, right? I, I, I'm the last one to talk about grammar stuff. Um, okay, so make selection, feather by 70 make a copy blur it with gauge blur at 4.9 okay duplicating the layer one more time then merging all three layers together blur gauge and blur at 25 2.5 percent whatever right filter blur gallery graphic pen and then another one at a torn edges okay okay regardless let's just see how it works and let's just hope for the best okay so to actually get this started i'm gonna right click convert to a sort object now with a pen tool which is right over here right we're gonna use a free form pen tool just kind of circle around over here on this like like left hand side that's not what i want anyway circle around this like right hand side just like so and this bottom left as well is what she kind of did we're gonna press Control enter to make a selection then select modify feather about 80 percent press ok then Control J to make a duplicate, boom, and then we're also going to go ahead and go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur at what, 4.9% or 4.9 pixels, press OK, and we're going to make another duplicate of this, so now we have two of these kind of things right here. So real quick, I, I might have actually recorded this clip maybe 30 minutes ago and spent 30 minutes trying to figure out why it wasn't working. Homegirl did not tell us that she was supposed to merge the background together as well, so merge all three layers additionally also the background together just like so so control j to get, make a duplicate control e merge it all together we can hide this other stuff here so now we have this layer and one whole thing now we're gonna go to where it says actually before that smart object all right so before we actually jump into filter filter gallery make sure your colors on black and white something she forgot to mention as well by the way but filter filter gallery right now on this we're gonna use a graphic pen so at two uh stroke size and then 50 light and dark balance now you don't actually have to exit in order to actually put another filter gallery on this little plus button down here is actually to make a new layer of the same filter gallery like just like if you were to reopen it again so next one's gonna be torn edges and then this was at 36 uh six and then 19 i believe it was just like so and then we press okay and then we got the effect i mean this is one of those effects as well that unfortunately unfortunately excuse me you have to do like another step in order to actually get it to be usable so what i would do is i would go to uh, select color range choose the black just like so press okay you can hide everything as well go into your uh, adjustments layers and do a nice solid color and then make it black or any color you want and then now you can actually have it on a transparent background no matter what the actual color is on your canvas and you can actually use it so honestly we're gonna go and just say we're gonna this is a big w i'm gonna probably use it for myself in the near very near future for like some kind of like like graphic just dope grunge stuff and like overlay it on top of some other text or overlay it on top of like some part person's face or like that it's definitely usable so let's just go on to the next one all right so the next text effect is by marge we have a halo text effect let's just give it a little look here so we're gonna immediately go to start off by rasterizing then we're gonna do some like skewing making a duplicate motion blur at 90 angle pretty okay i do remember why i put this one in here this is kind of cool actually it's a very cool little technique, a little gauge blur as well. Changing the color, yup, I mean, that's pretty solid. Honestly, to be honest with you, I've, I feel like I've done this in a very, like, past, but, like, there's someone that's watching this video right now is like, this is the sickest thing ever, so let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so, now we're inside Photoshop, got the word right in front of us, so, of course, the first thing I did was actually rash as a type. Now, I'm gonna press Control-T to free transform it. He went ahead and used his skew and, like, moved one at a time. We're gonna right-click and use perspective, take one of the angles in the bottom right and just move it, just like so, so, so it kind of feels like that let's make a duplicate then on this duplicate we're gonna go to where it says filter blur motion blur and our motion blur is gonna be at 90 angle we're gonna do about 200 or so pixels press ok now i'm gonna drag this a little bit further down so the white is more prominent on the top make one two three copies is pretty good okay now what we're gonna do is gonna take it all together group it together Control j Control E to merge it together. Now we have this right here, and we're gonna do one quick little final Gaussian blur with a about 1.3 pixels. Press OK. I'm gonna personally make this a smart object for myself. Make this a little bit more smaller. That's basically what he did. This is the end of the tutorial, basically. Just choose our color, right? I got a nice little green already for us. 
something like this. And now one other thing I want to quickly just add really quick. If you make a new layer, let's use like a nice little brush here, a nice soft brush. We're going to take the color picker, select the green, make it a little bit more darker, press OK. Then we're going to basically click like one time over here and like one time over here. And then our blend mode, we're going to change it from normal to linear dodge add. And then maybe, just maybe, this will kind of make this feel a little bit more kind of like hologram-esque. Maybe you can kind of like mix around the where the, the blurs are coming from with like a little warp tool, right? I don't know. I think that looks pretty cool. Just trying to add on to it a little bit, but that's pretty sick. So this is definitely an effect that I used definitely in the past. Maybe some point, or maybe I tried it. Did I try it? I think I did. Well, let's just go to the next one. All right, so our next tech effect is by Connor Tomatoes. From this to this. It's a quick one. I hope, freaking hope so. And that's what, what did I put this one in here again? So filter, pixelate, mosaic. Okay, 23 or so squares. Oh, that's why I love the threshold techniques. I do love the threshold techniques. Okay, a little quick adjustment. And I think that that's it. Oh, I, I do remember why I put this effect in here. So the cyberspace in the background here, it just, it, dude, it just looks sick, no? As long as you actually do a little bit of warping to that text effect, like using some kind of like, you know, whatever like warp tool you want to use, it might look pretty freaking dope. So let's just give it a shot. All right, so this should be pretty quick, right? So we're going to take our word here. Now, the one thing I really like at the end result as his is he did a little warp on the text. So, of course, when I have our word completed, use the same text tool. Click this little button right here for the the, the, the text warp style. We're gonna use uh, was it lower arch or upper arch? I think it's lower arch, taking the bend and then moving it the opposite way, something like this, right? Okay, press OK. Now we're gonna go ahead and just quickly rasterize this or smart object. This actually, not rasterize it. We'll go to where it says filter, pixelate, mosaic, and he did about 23 squares. So let's do like just around the same, maybe even a little bit less. I think. A little less for our size of the of the of the documents. We like 15 squares. Press OK. Then we're gonna go over where it says uh, threshold over here. Then we're gonna take this. Ah. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. We're gonna move this around. Maybe we wanna do a little bit less, a little bit more mosaic. Do I wanna do more or less? And the reason why I wanted to suggest that you guys actually use a smart object is so they can actually go back and make it a little bit more different or more fun. This looks very pixelated and kind of cool. Uh, of course, that's way too much. So maybe like something like right here might be kind of nice. So maybe like eight pixels for me. So press OK. Right. Threshold looks pretty good. Then I would just probably like what? Combine it together. Use a little bit of like a noise maybe. Like let's just say like a filter. Oh, we actually actually merge together for a second first. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh. So maybe instead we actually just add the, the noise into this letter, the first layer right here. Something like this. Add noise. Oh, hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. That's not what I was going for, but that kind of looks sick, no? Oh, sh did we just create something on accident? Oh, we definitely created something. Yo! Yo, that's so good. <laughs> Hold on, that's actually so dope. Uh, okay, so a little, if you add a little noise to it, it actually gives these really cool corners that I cannot lie to you. Looks freaking dope. That is actually so sick. Very honestly unplanned. I'll take it. I didn't even use Gaussian Blur and I made something new. Okay, that's kind of sick. Okay, regardless though, when you do mess with the mosaic, it does look really freaking cool. And I will suggest like, if you want like even like a pixel effect, this alone is actually pretty freaking dope. So honestly, solid. I want to add the noise to it as well. Really solid. And I'm actually really excited about this one. I hope you guys are too. And uh, let's go to the next one. <laughs> this That was sick. That was sick. Also, we're going to ask me what this font is. It's called Superline. You're welcome. All right, so this next one, it has 13, okay, how many views does it have actually? 101,000 views. I was like, this is gonna be freaking sick, right? So I click on it, how to how to do a half an effect in Photoshop, which in my opinion is, it should, it, it should be pretty relatively simple. And then I look at the video, right? Go to filter, pixelate, color halftone. That's all he did, 13,000 likes. Honestly though, all jokes aside, although I do know how to do this, I would not have thought of to do this as for this, this texturing idea that he did here, which in my opinion looks really, really freaking dope and the right setting and the right opportunity. This effect itself can carry a really cool art direction just by just doing this like this. So honestly, it's really sick. Uh, so all just aside, all jokes aside, excuse me, it's really simple to do and I wanna show you guys how to do it. Let's do it, <laughs> why not? All right, so hopping in with a picture of Enable here, we're gonna go ahead and just take our picture, make a duplicate of it really quick. I want to go to filter, uh, pixelate color halftone and he used the radius of four his first channel is 323 his second channel is 162 his uh, third channel is 91 and then his last channel is 50 and then if we press ok just like so we should get a really really sick like yeah see what I mean it, you know, all jokes aside, it's it's very it's a very simple effect, right? Very simple in the idea of how to actually do it. But the settings that he actually has is really freaking fire. I can't even lie. 
like actually cannot lie even if we combine this with like a really simple little like black and white gradient i mean it's it's pretty fire i can't even, i can't even front uh, obviously if you want to actually make the the half tones themselves a little more bigger so uh, filter pixelate colors and then besides choosing four we might just choose like a nine and press ok it'll be pretty big yeah maybe a little bit too big in my case maybe not actually regardless for like a filter photo effect for like some kind of like really cool grungy or streetwear you know, I, I used to wear streetwear a lot but there's a lot of streetwear kind of stuff going on here just cultural aspects kind of stuff it can actually be pretty, pretty successful so regardless as simple as it is i want to throw it in because i think it's actually worth it all right so for the last effect we have jolly with her waterfall effect that i actually know of as like pixel stretching but i kind of want to bring it and show you guys to you just in case you didn't know and also one other thing i want to show you guys afterwards too but anyway she makes a nice little selection going on here doesn't the most funniest way possible zoom in shrinks it down to like one pixel when there's actually like a a singular line pixel selection unfortunate for her didn't probably know this probably got flame in the comments but all i gotta do is then hold shift and drag it right very very simple let me show you guys how to do it really quick but also one other thing i want to show you guys as well okay one sec all right so i got myself vinny hacker i mean it makes sense TikTok vinny hacker right it just it just goes together so anyway right besides actually doing all that whole selection stuff and like going in and zooming in and making sure it's like one pixel wide uh there's this thing called uh right here marquee single column marquee tool we're gonna just basically click once just like so on our copied already picture right click layer via copy to make a copy in that selection control t to free transform hold shift and then just move it over to the right and then boom you're done right pretty cool one thing i saw in the comments of that video though was some people said they took it right click skewed it just like this and then also did it again in an opposite direction to make a prism so basically control alt shift e to merge all your layers together into one single layer one more time with that already effect applying but we use another thing called a like single marquee tool but this time horizontally right we'll do it like right here or so like just like this right click layer via copy control t shrink it down like so but not all the way and then press enter and then you make a prism eh? it's cool no but like it's nothing too crazy but i just thought this could actually be pretty cool in a really fun little setting where i don't know if you want to maybe even go deeper into this or mix things together but regardless that's the effect itself either way that is the end of the video here today so i do hope you guys enjoyed all that good stuff and please let me know which one of your favorite ones in this video that the, whatever is a text effect or graphical effect what was your favorite effect in this video period mine of course has to be the one we actually made in the video on accident with a little like noise and like uh pixelation and threshold that was kind of sick like honestly pretty freaking sick super gas and literally did not need to do that when we take those but if it was something different let me know but hey that's it for me so hq out you're not forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay a freaking productive guys later much love peace and uh just for the record for anyone's who's reading out there i heard this is a great book so i've been reading it and i would i would agree i don't know not like sponsored or anything obviously but just books you know love you guys peace